an adventure and not worry about you, my dude. How long have that been there? <laughs> I was playing a whole lot of Apex today. I was doing my best to try and get good at it, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bad. I am not the best player, but you know, assuming I don't get you know killed early on in the game, I do I do have fun playing it. Uh, I did manage to get uh, one win this today, one one round or one game. Uh, my entire squad managed to survive, and I got the final kill, which made me feel pretty good. Pretty sure we won't get that again for another another day or another few days, but you know. Always a pleasure to receive. I'm gonna keep playing in my free time and and whatever. Well, and I'll set aside free time. I'm gonna play it, and then uh, hopefully I'll get better at it. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Well, I'm not. I don't have that perk. To learn our ways. You have but to ask. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. By the way, you do so you can get the uh, the, the boost from using uh, blood packs to heal yourself. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. <laughs> deep drink, drink deep of the blood. Isn't that how Bloodborne Bloodborn gets started? You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you. Yeah, know dude. What uh, give, like me the, the, give me the. Give me the. Give me the. The TODR. Your pseudo philosophical stuff is not helping me. Very well, actually. Our truce with Arafu is coming to fruition. I've begun teaching my people to live off of the donated blood packs. The transition has been difficult, but we will manage. You've certainly done us a great service, and I can't thank you enough. I'm certain our paths will cross again. They won't. So where is Arafu getting the, uh, the plastic bags he used for the uh, blood packs? You know, you need the bags for it. Just not ask too many questions because it won't make sense if we do that. Just gotta cross our fingers and. Or not cross our fingers, we just gotta, you know, cover our ears and accept what they're telling us because anything else we just will make stuff unravel. Uh, we could probably go and talk to the guy that'll buy the sugar bombs from us. Might as well go ahead and knock that out real quick. Okay, that is indeed a thing. There is a guy that we can talk to. I think I think he's a ghoul. Talk to him and he'll buy the uh, cereal from us, for caps. He is... Think he's here? This game gets those uh, those mercenaries. New Vegas gets the the assassins, who do in fact make the game a lot harder than it needs to be. Fuck him up, dog meat. Fuck him up. Wow, 
Why is my inventory so full? Keep looking around. Let me get as much shit as we can before we go and talk to you before we wander off. Yeah? You're not not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? No, not really. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Oh, you're making a drug cool. I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. And why that? Why me? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, ultra jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? It bugs me that he's saying that. Fine, anything to get he uses breakfast cereal to make, it, oh, make a it super drug. You got something to say. So, what did you bring me? He is my assistant and my backup, in case things get rough. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Sure, I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's another They wouldn't want ghoul blood, would they? I mean, ghouls are radioactive. The station here. More or less. Yeah, as soon as you bring me some more sugar bombs. Here you go. Excellent. Keep it coming. Hey. It's what, 120? Or not? What, the game does not feel like giving me my caps? <laughs> Uh, we got more both we can go and turn it into, might as well. And then do the cap, another cap, the um, scrap metal. Oh, hey, it's you again, the one that was beating Billy. Or whatever his name is. You go do his quest too, I forgot all about that one. Talk to me. Welcome back. Have you been successful? Very well. Here is your reward. All right, done talking to you. Moving on. Megaton, they talk to Lucy again. Been rather busy lately. Who the hell are you? Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator, a detective for hire, or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android? Lady, I haven't done anything yet. Alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The yeah, that's not happening. With, we help his kind escape their commonwealth imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the the real way. That poor soul alone. 
Do that, and you'll save a man's life. We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is yeah, I wonder why you call yourself that. Synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. Okay, I don't recall that from this part, though. He's as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Yeah, what about them? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Bless me. You know what you need to do. Yeah, I don't think having you just tell me that doesn't feel very official, you know. I'm sure that that seems gonna sound great on the recording. That one I might need to go in and artificially lower the volume of. Yeah, what is it? Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Oh, that was a hell of a sneeze, too. Uh, I fucked up my neck a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was an intense one. This has got to be part of it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certain it's part of being old, but... When you, when you get so old that... Sneezing hurts. <laughs> The rule of a dice, sometimes they're okay, and sometimes they really fuck you up. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. They woke me up early. What brings you Hi. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. Your parents are dead. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Oh, okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Why? So you, you, you don't have much to say. You don't have any more of a dialogue. Go we'll put the stealth armor in our, uh, back in our house. We don't need it anymore. Oh, we don't need it right now, at least. We're not doing anything with it. We got our power armor on. I guess we can go and do this one now. Be quick about it. Maybe not a lot of steps left, to be honest. Let's go talk to Zimmer. Not actually mean to come out on there. Don't mind me. To the science lab. By the way, coming here the complete and total circum uh, circumvention of um of uh, Megaton. You can just come straight here and avoid talking to uh, 
about your runaway robot. Was it Moriarty? Yeah, Megaton? This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us. You're doing a lot of talking. I'm standing here listening. That never even crossed your mind. But you're okay with that. Settle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. You there. What are you? Some Hi. Kind of lab assistant? No, I'm not that. Oh, no, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Depends on the work. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. And what's that property, huh? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. It's a part they're doing this shit. It was like, what, 20 years before Fallout 4? No, actually, no, it's, um... No, that sounds about right. It's like 10 or so, 10 to 20 years. Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. And machines can, can learn. A generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done That's helpful, because a big place. <laughs> like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. And you'll be paying me, right? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. I mean, I care more about caps, but whatever. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's yeah, toys. Yeah, please, get, tell me more stuff that's only important to this Androids mission. Have fake it's not relevant to anything else in the game. And a program to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said... I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind. Oh man, well we've met someone Search that the offices of has Dr. bragged about being able to do that stuff. Information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surrounding. Oh, boo-hoo. You always complain about everything, don't you? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. 
wipe away all memory, all guilt, trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him, I want him. End of story. Mm-hmm. You complain an awful lot once you know that. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. Oh, so it's not a malfunction, huh? And they're doing it frequently. AI. This is just the <laughs> like Detroit. For themselves. Fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral. And wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? I guess. <laughs> this particular android. Just keep giving me answers, man. <laughs> Run the clock. Is, uh, I'm actually also intrigued to hear about the the breathing galore and all the that. Most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage, there. Are all older models. Oh, he's, an, he's also a, uh, but also an android. It's interesting. It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses. But A321, he is irreplaceable. Well, you better use to replace it. You better find an option to replace it with, because I'm, uh... I'm not going to return to you. Is nothing but a war quagmire of Commonwealth is setting a Fallout 4, which we are not playing for quite a while. Of the Institute, however. But the Institute if at all. Affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. God, you are such a pain in the ass. Of course you do. Good to see. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, see as you. my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination. Yeah, what, what do you know now, friend? I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against the system I no longer believe Where is this doctor at? Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. So there's a doctor here that might know something. I need to find where he's holed up at. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Not really. That being said, I'm not really looking either. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Wait, I'm just trying to find the doctor, okay? Where the hell he's at? Don't touch the vegetables. They're fragile. If it wasn't going to, don't care. Leave me alone, please. Did a good job behind this doctor because I have no idea where he is. But that also feels a little bit counterintuitive, though. Don't mind me. What do you have? What do you have? Can 
Can I find him up here? That'd be helpful. Alright, clinic. Clinic, clinic, clinic. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. I heard a rumor that old Pinkerton at Rivet Pinkerton. City Pinkerton! Alright, good thing we can talk to this guy, but we just gotta talk about his stuff. Look at that, Chris is playing with the Elden Ring. That's the bold game, the bold thing to be playing. Go talk to Pigerton now. Go through the water so we don't end up uh, in the DO City Super Mutants uh, over there. Not in the mood to be fighting with any of them right now. We'll wrap this quest up and then we'll go do the, um, do the one for, uh, Grady Ditch. Where we need to go talk to that little kid again. Or talk to that little kid and get started on that. What's his name? It's not Billy, it's something, though. I can't remember, well, of course it's something, but... It's something like Billy. Bitch. Oh, hi. I didn't know you were there. But now you're dead, too. Pinkerton! Talk to me, dude. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? You know what? Fine. Whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory. That's the guy across the bridge. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. I didn't ask. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? Stay on. Stay on topic, please. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Was there a way to jog his memory? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code virus. Thank you. That will activate the hidden subroutines. Ha. Why Let's keep talking to him for a while. Let's get I some more of the story. I open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about. And even then, I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. 
Wait, so you helped him so you could see all the Commonwealth tech, but then Bunch you said earlier that they're not that morons. sophisticated. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk. Yeah, it's not that bad, except for like the the, the Nuxi or the whatever it's called. Institute. The Radfi. That android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame. That's for damn sure. It's not what you said earlier, dude. You said it's not that important, not that uh, sophisticated, Don't let your guard down. or impressive, whatever the word was. Don't even. So how'd you give him hair? I don't care about that. I'm not gonna read that. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had memory my transfer like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth, but I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the Still one talking, got Jesus. Away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Aren't you to the joy, sunshine? You're always reliable, huh? Harkness. We gotta talk. I'm a little busy right now. Where'd they get the hair? Problem? What's that supposed to mean? Look, it means you're not who you I think you are. You're a robot. And I'm not good old robot. religion you're peddling. Excuse me? Look, kid, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I have, a way, I have a way of making if you remember. One thing I've learned, it's this. There is no such thing as the truth, just the appearance of truth. And for anyone to try to sell their version of the truth, they need evidence. Well, I have evidence. You have no evidence for your ridiculous claims. So I have no more time to waste talking with you. I have pictures and audio. All right. I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I remember how I said it. Just everything else. You mean to look and act human, but you're not... I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit this is pretty convincing evidence, but it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Yeah, activation ah! code. My God, I, I remember. I remember it all from before. Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute. My God, all those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Well, we can still make a new life, though. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Yeah, don't kill him. Just get rid of him. 
I suppose if I'm careful, I could trump up some charges and throw them out. I want to thank you for warning me about Zimmer, and for keeping this a secret. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Yeah, we're gonna do I now, have huh? Two sets of memories, one android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. So what was your plan for when people started aging and you didn't, huh? Well. I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends. All right? Will do. I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids, they'd fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas, but then I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. Well, that way you have the memories so you, you, you can remember your reason for doing this. <laughs> Carry on. No, we don't make any, any of the same mistakes, right? Uh, if we go here, we'll get a uh, what's the space to come talk to us. It's got to wait around here for a bit for him to show up. Shouldn't be too long of a wait though, he's around here somewhere. I believe. Assuming him getting beaten with that stick was it didn't cause any issues. I do this. Did not help. Five, six, seven. There's there you are, Brian. They're, they're gonna get me. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. Then why'd you stop to talk to me? You won't leave me like all the other grown ups. You. you can help me. Those. big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. You said they killed everyone. Doesn't that include your dad? You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. You know, maybe this will help and maybe it won't. But papa hit a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and the dumpster. He Thank you for telling me that. And said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't mind you having it. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Yeah, let's keep waiting for daylight, though. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. 